is Einstein's theory of relativity truly unbreakable or are we just waiting for the right experiment to expose its flaws? Well, scientists have just conducted one of the most powerful tests yet using the world's most massive particle, the top quark, and it seems that special relativity has passed this test with flying colors. Back in 1905, Albert Einstein introduced his special theory of relativity, forever changing the way we think about space, time and energy. The theory laid out a new framework for understanding how particles move at speeds close to the speed of light and most importantly, it introduced the concept of Lorentz symmetry, the idea that the laws of physics are the same, no matter your speed or where you're observing from. Lorentz symmetry is foundational to Einstein's theory. It suggests that there is no preferred direction in space-time, no special spot where the laws of physics behave differently. Over the years, this idea has been put to the test again and again, with relativity passing every challenge until now. Could we finally find an exception? To explore that, scientists turn to a particle that's anything but ordinary, the top quark. The top quark is the heaviest of all the known fundamental particles, 340,000 times heavier than an electron. This particle is pivotal in modern physics because of its large mass and unique properties, making it an ideal candidate to test the limits of our current theories. It's so massive that scientists believe studying it could reveal new laws of physics beyond the standard model. To test whether top quarks violate Einstein's special relativity, researchers used the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful particle accelerator. Their goal, to see if Lorentz symmetry holds up when top quarks are produced in proton collisions. If relativity were to break down, they'd expect to see changes in the rate of top quark pair production depending on the time of day. Why does the time of day matter? Well. As the Earth rotates, the direction of the proton beams at the LHC changes relative to the experiment. If there were a preferred direction in space-time, the rate of top quark production would shift throughout the day as the Earth's position changes. In essence, the time of day could reveal a hidden bias in how nature operates, one that goes against Einstein's theory. But here's the kicker. After running the experiment, the researchers found no variation in the rate of top quark production. No matter what time of day it was, the results stayed consistent. That means there's no sign of a preferred direction in space-time and Lorentz symmetry holds strong. This is huge because it reaffirms the validity of Einstein's special relativity. It also means that Lorentz symmetry is still intact, ruling out any new fundamental violations in space-time, at least for now. But what does this mean for the future? These findings also set much more precise limits on how much space-time could differ from what relativity predicts and this precision could help scientists uncover new physics beyond the standard model. Even though special relativity has passed yet another crucial test, scientists are still on the lookout for phenomena that challenge it, with theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity predicting that space-time might behave differently at the smallest scales. Experiments like this one help us get one step closer to understanding whether these theories hold up. So. While Einstein's theory has once again stood the test of time, the quest for deeper understanding of space-time continues. Will we ever find a crack in the foundation of relativity? Only time and more experiments will tell. What do you think? Can special relativity hold up forever? Or are we just one discovery away from rewriting the rulebook? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights into the mysteries of the universe.